I heard, I heard, against the moonlit sky, the multiverse warning me, as I heard the old woman cry. I watched, I watched, against the starlit sky, I heard, I heard, the woman's grief-stricken cries. I learned, I learned, as I watched the multiverse with the moonlit skies. I heard, I heard. Beware, beware, the daughter of the night, as she sank beneath the tide. I heard, I heard, her mournful cries, as she cried out at me. Beware, beware, she said, beware of the daughter of the kingdom of the moonlight. Beware, beware, she said, beware of me. Beware. Beware, she warned the rest of the multiverse to beware, to beware of me. Beware, I heard her cries, grief stricken within the night. Grief stricken and blinded by her own rage, little could she realize she would succumb and become the very thing she was afraid of. She became the very thing that she feared so much. The daughter of the night desperately tried to change the rising tides. Angered, hurt, grief-stricken, and torn, I tried my best to make her see, but she lashed out at me. I watched, I watched, as I saw her become the very thing she wished to evade as she sank beneath the tide. Desperate to change the rising tides, her flare angered and roared, just like a storming night. She watched as her anger made her slip and strike out this night. I watched, I watched, as I watched the old woman's desperate cries, as her anger and grief consumed her from the inside to the inky tides. Why this, why this, oh my dear dream, how could you go so astray beneath the dragon's eye? I watched, I watched, I mourned, I mourned as she sang beneath the tide.